Yo, what's up guys, Spanus here and welcome to your daily news of Ark Knights. The Heart of Surge Flaming Event Part 1 is live. This one will be available until the 29th. You can get uh, a free skin for Castle 3 and another one for Matterhorn alongside with a bunch of goodies just by doing uh, basic quests such as doing your daily missions or spending sanity, upgrading your operators, killing enemies and so on and so forth. Again this one lasts until the 29th. We also have the new banner lasting until the 29th as well. This one has Heliger, Croissant, Astesia and Myrtle and um, this banner is a really good one. Make sure to not miss it. Go for at least the guaranteed I would say. Okay, then we have uh, some of the older stuff. The uh, Witch Fist skins, these ones will end on the 22nd. The skins for Cruz, Nightingale and Warfarin. And then the uh, Secret Occult Society furniture will also end on the 22nd. This will probably be uh, replaced with uh, the new skins and furniture for the Heart of Surging Flame event. Also the uh, certificates. The uh, distinction one, Saria and Firewatch will be removed in uh, just under 19 hours and I believe they will be replaced with uh, Nightingale and Warfarin. So if you were wondering or if you were still deciding whether or not to get yourself a Saria or a Firewatch, now would be the time to do it. You don't have much time left. Saria I believe would be a good option. Firewatch probably not but that is up to you. Next up, someone posted on YouTube a video showcasing all the new skins for the Heart of Surging Flame event. We have Gumi, Matterhorn, Vigna, Shining, Sora, Anzel, Ifrit, Skyfire and Castle 3. You can check it out in the comments section below. Speaking of the event, in part 2 we will be able to uh, select one of three artists to support and they each come with their own uh, music and with their own furniture as well. And we have Reddit user PsychopowerJ, he provides the links to all the three music styles and uh, the uh, specific furniture as well. So we have Alive until sunset, we have destructive dragon demon, and finally we have emperor. And uh, you can see the furniture in there as well. So this one is emperor, then we have destructive dragon demon, and this one was alive until sunset. You can uh, hear the songs down in the comments below. Arknights also posted their official music survive on their channel. You can go ahead and watch it as well. Over at the Chinese accounts, or on the Chinese server that is, we have a, a lot of information. Arknights fan on Twitter, they managed to data mine some information quite a while ago and uh, we have further info on this as well but to read through this so first off we have a, a new side story Dark Knight's memoir uh, which will come at the end of April it includes new stages operators and furniture Dark Knight's first anniversary will be on the 1st May so they will release episode 7 as part of the celebration and a limited banner uh, I don't think uh, we know yet what the limited banner is. Some speculate that it may be Calcit. Uh, we don't know for sure yet though. Uh, there also will be a live stream apparently at the end of April. So this is the, the picture for the new side story Dark Knight's memoir and we have for the first anniversary and then uh, episode 7. And we can actually see there is the uh, preview for the Dark Knight's memoir, we have it on uh, on YouTube, and you can see the new 
operators here. There's Cutter, there's uh, Sidoroka, that's another guard. And speaking of all these new units, we can actually check them out. So that was, uh, we have Sh Shumare there. And there's also Phantom, a six star specialist. So first off, we have the new six star specialist Phantom, courtesy of Reddit user Mo Fantasy. You can see the artwork here for, well, the normal artwork that is. Uh, oh, is that is that like a, a skull mask? Uh, that's pretty freaky. Okay, and he's got a cat there. He looks a little bit like a, a raven to me, but he's actually related more to cats, as you can see. Then this is gonna be his E2 artwork. He looks similar to Silver Ash. Uh, his um, Silver Ash's skin. Silver Ash has a skin that is similar to this one, I feel like. Is he sitting? He's sitting on a throne there. Interesting. And then we also have the base animation when you click on him. <laughs> you got the, the cat there. She gets scared a little bit. She <laughs> does a little jump. Nice. Then we have uh, the uh, deployment plus auto attack. This one is Dimble with knives. This is probably his skill 2. He has a phantom. And then finally his skill 3. Again with the additional phantoms. And then he also has um, some sort of stun. Some sort of crowd control. In terms of his kit we have a little bit of extra information here. Let's read through it real quick. So we have the trait is massively reduced redeployment time. This talent is going to be gain a shadow that has the same skill as Phantom with separate redeploy time. So this is basically the 6 star version of Project Red so far. Skill 1 is going to be gain physical dodge and physical shield when deployed for several seconds. Skill 2 gain several stacks of attack damage when deployed. Lose 1 stack per attack. Interesting. And skill 3 instantly deal damage to nearby enemies when deploy knockback them and randomly inflict one of the following ailments. Stop, stun and bind. And then we also have them uh, explain there. So stop massively reduces movement speed. Magdalene has uh, that ailment. Then we have stun, cannot move, attack or use skills such as a red skill uh, or red stun. Uh, bind, cannot move but can attack or use skills such as uh, Ethan skill which uh, we don't have yet in global but should be available soon ish next up we have the new five star supporter shamare uh, game press .gg did a really nice job on this one they collected all the relevant information so you can easily check it out in one place the first off we're gonna have the uh, the normal artwork so five star supporter right there flash has got a, a sort of a, a puppet there Interesting. Is she gonna do voodoo magic? What is this? This one has voodoo magic. Talents and skills. Her trait is attacks deal arts damage. Talent is the following. When enemies within attack range have less than HP, uh, apply weakening effect. Damage is increased among similar buffs. Strongest buff takes effect. Skill 1 increases attack, increases damage taking effect of talent is strengthened on limited duration. So that's gonna be a passive. And that's her uh, animation there. Uh, skill 2 obtain one curse doll, can store maximum of one. Curse doll will reduce attack and defense of nearby enemies and self destruct after a certain duration. Hmm. Reduce attack and defense and self-destruct. Interesting, terrifying Teddy Grave Dance. That looks uh, pretty funny there. We also have some first impressions. We have the talents, so uh, weakening at max level. 133% damage when their HP is under 40%. Okay. Then we have her E2 artwork. She's eating an apple. Just chilling. Ooh, that's, uh, that's pretty ugly. Look at that. Whole, whole bunch of demons right there. Deployment plus auto attack. Yo, her, 
Our auto attack looks really nice. I don't like it. Then uh, in the base, she's trying to hide behind her doll. Very good. Then we also have Cedar Roca. It's gonna be uh, the five star guard. There she is, and she has a huge sword. Talents and skills. Her trade is normal attacks deal arts damage. Oh, so another uh, arts damage dealer. Interesting. Talent 1. After killing a certain number of enemies, obtain additional attack speed and resist. Reduce duration of stun, chill, and freeze by 50%. Hmm. So you want her to kill uh, many enemies. Immediately recover a certain amount of HP. And skill 2. Reduce attack range, increase attack, and recover a certain amount of HP per second. So I'm guessing this one is going to be the skill 2. So as you can see her uh, <laughs> her attack range is basically reduced to 0 tiles. But she gets extra attack and then she also recovers HP every second. You can see the animation right there. have uh, some first impressions. Jo she joins Moose and Astesia in an archetype of Arsgars. Yes. <laughs> Talent reminiscent of Flamebringer. This is gonna be her, uh, that's going to be her E2 artwork. That looks pretty nice. Oh, he's got like a, a cow there in the background. Okay. The mad cow. Is, it, is this the mad cow? Deployment plus auto attack. Pretty neat. And then finally, here she is in the base. She's just scratching <laughs> her her head. She's like, why, why are you trying to touch me right now? Don't, don't do that. She also has a tail. Look at that, that's, that's pretty cute. And finally, for the Play Store review of the day, we have a Mr. Nep Station 5 star out of 5 rating. Oh, the game is at 4.5. I thought it dropped at 4.2, maybe at 3.9. Did, did it drop at 3.9? Maybe uh, uh, mistaking it for another game, but uh, yeah, 4.5. Looks like it, it got up got the better reviews. In my subjective opinion, this game is a rather fun tower defense game. The characters are well designed in most cases. The catches or rather the headhunter systems rate of pulling 5 stars or higher is fairly good. Interesting. The story seems to be well made so far, at least to where I'm at. Which is chapter 4 by the way. All in all, a good mobile game. If you don't mind tower stretch games and anime style characters, thank you for your time, whoever you may be. Okay. So he still, uh, he still has a uh, a ways to go to complete all the content so he is having a blast and I do agree that it is a very fun tower defense game indeed and also I personally enjoy the design of the characters as well interestingly enough he doesn't have any qualms about the, the gadget system some players might, might say might say that uh, you don't get too much currency to pull units which is understandable because that's how this game is made to work. You don't do that many pulls like in other games because you, you don't necessarily require many operators. You don't need dupes and such. Some other games there you need to pull a character like five times to make him viable. In Ark Knights you pull it once and you are generally good to go. And there's also the recruitment system so you can get the uh, even more operators that way but anyway guys that is it for today's uh, news episode hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned as always for more content and i shall see you in the next video have a good one and take care